I'd like to tell people about what happened to me recently with Quora. That's that uh, website where you ask questions and answer questions and they give you points and sometimes uh, they pay you like, I don't know, it's like a penny for whatever every time somebody upvotes you. Anyway, I was on there for several months and I loved answering health questions. You know, people would uh, put a question up like, why should I go on? I'm so depressed. I have nothing to live for. So I would, uh, I would go to those questions and I would uh, try and um, give them some encouragement. And people with health problems, um, having uh, side effects from medication, asking if they were taking too much of it. Uh, results of their lab work, um, I felt useful and it, it feels good to do good deeds and to use my experience and knowledge. Anyway, I seem to have made the mistake of putting a joke question on there and <laughs> all of a sudden I get uh, uh, a notice from Quora that they actually they didn't even tell me. I asked them what's happening. I didn't get any uh, any email of how much I made this month. Anyway, one the lowest I ever made monthly was four dollars, but it was fun to get paid. And the highest I ever made was twenty six dollars for the month. But they always let you know if you made anything or not, and I didn't get that email from them, so I asked the question, why didn't I get that email? So they were forced to tell me, it seems, you have been removed from the Quora Partner Program because of the low quality of your questions. And the only thing I could think of was that one joke question. Actually, I asked it several times. I just kept changing the subject a little bit. Uh, otherwise, I had so many questions on there that were serious. They were involving medical things, uh, chemistry, the environment, religion, um, history, geography, uh, psychology, you know. But anyway, so the only thing I could think of that they didn't like was this was during the time when everyone was having a problem finding toilet tissue. So I asked the question, where does Jeff Bezos get his toilet tissue? Or how does he get his toilet tissue? And then um, I got some joke answers and we were all having a good time, all in good fun. And then I started substituting names like, where does Donald Trump get his toilet tissue? Uh, where does Ralph Nader get his toilet tissue? Where does Mark Cuban get his toilet tissue? And I just kept putting in famous names because it was funny. For instance, one of the uh, answers I got was uh, Donald Trump sneaks into Congress and steals toilet tissue out of their bathrooms. I mean, it was just fun. That's all. Nothing bad. So I'm just amazed. Of course, I had adversaries on there because some people didn't like my religious answers, even though I proved them. Uh, so that's it. Um, but that's okay because uh, I, after I started um, doing some research about other people's complaints with Quora, and I found that if you have somebody complaining about you or they just don't like your answer that they complain to Quora administration and then uh, you just get cut off so um, it was taking up a lot of my time anyway and I very seldom got a thank you and I got a few upvotes so now I'm on Yahoo Answers because um, it, uh, it's not so over con all consuming with my time. And um, there's some trolls on there too, but mostly um, it's just people, you know, enjoying themselves. Money is not involved in, in Yahoo Answers. It's like a video game, you get points. That's all. So 
one one thing I asked that I liked this week on Yahoo Answers was about uh, well I won't go into that identity identity problems anyway um, what can we do some things that seem bad or insulting uh, end up to be for our good so beware of Quora and um, always uh, investigate what you're doing and, and try to analyze why things happen. That's about it.